The truthful facts you must know about Freemasons. It is sometimes hard to differentiate between what's the truth and what's a myth. Despite the fact that the Freemasonry has been existing for many years, rumors have brought misguided accusation, wrong information, and illiteracy about the craft. And that is the more reason why we would like to share with you the truthful facts about Freemasonry. Some of these facts may appear as a total surprise to you while may not. But we sincerely hope you will find these truthful facts interesting. 1. Freemasonry has been existing for over 300 years. Freemasonry was established in the year 1717 due to the emergence of the Grand Lodges of London on June 24. This led to the beginning of other lodges being governed by Grand Lodges. 2. The third degree of Freemasonry There was no third degree when Freemasonry was established. The third degree surfaced in the 1720s and later spread through Masonic lodges. 3. The Andersons Constitution This constitution was modified in 1815 by the Grand Lodge of England in order to be able to clarify some questions of religion in Freemasonry. It was originally stated in the Andersons Constitution that a Freemason can never be an irreligious libertine or a stupid atheist but this was later modified to be let mode of worship or man's religion be what it may which led to the freedom of worship and of religion. 4. Charles Darwin was a Freemason Darwin's grandfather, his son, and himself were also a Freemasons. They became a Freemasons in Scotland. 5. Freemasonry in the 1700s. Talking about enlightenment in the 1700s, Freemasons played a great part. They helped to reform the society. Freemasonry has respect for human consciousness from the beginning and this veil and respect were being transmitted to the Enlightenment during that time, when people were agitating for the freedom of democratic government, public education, and freedom of worship and speech. 6. All men are created equal The first advocates of equality were Freemasons. The fraternity helped in disregarding all social distinctions. It is also among the first organizations in the universe who believed in the equality of men. 7. On the level. The on the level is a Freemasonry terminology that is used to illustrate someone who is honest and truthful. This also symbolizes being truthful and straightforward. 8. The origin of Masonic symbols due to the secrecy of the fraternity, symbols of Freemasons are regarded as existing. However, Freemasonry was explained through the use of symbols due to the high rate of illiteracy among the stonemasons. It was these symbols that helped in reminding the members about the teaching of fraternity. 9. The square and compasses. These happen to be the oldest Masonic symbols. The square and compasses are the most recognized symbols of Freemasonry throughout the universe. The compasses usually symbolizes the wisdom of conduct while the square symbolizes morality. They both symbolizes perfection and harmony experienced when follows the path of righteousness and live in honesty. 10. Freemasonry in the America Civil War When the America Civil War was on, the enemy soldiers who were Freemasons saved each other and helped each other. The loyalty of Freemasons to the craft did not fade away during the war. 11. Is Freemasonry a cult? Even though Freemasonry is mostly considered as cult, it possesses few components which separates it from other cults. Firstly, Freemasonry is very easy to leave. Unlike other cults that it's difficult to leave once you are in. Also, you must ask a Freemason for you to become a Freemason, while members of other cults will be looking for who to recruit in their cults. 12. The tallest building in the world The Masonic building used to be the tallest building in the world in 1892 with its over 22 floors spread out. In conclusion, there's a Masonic temple built in Illinois, Chicago. This Masonic temple happened to be the tallest building in the world at that time. I hope today's video was interesting. Thank you so much for watching.